back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Once again, it is so great to have you here with me today. As I'm recording this, it is May 1st, so we just hit my birthday month. This year, I am turning 28 years old, and gosh, turning 28. <laughs> I thought it would be a fun idea to throw myself a birthday party. I have always loved throwing parties and before the shutdown and everything, I would have like Christmas parties or birthday parties, things like that. I just really like hosting. So I thought it would be fun that this is the year I'm gonna throw myself a little birthday party. Because it's springtime, I want to have a party where I'm going to be out with my friends, just enjoying the nice weather and just having a lot of fun, just bringing all of my girlfriends together and just having a little, little celebration. I've been seeing a lot of like garden parties or tea parties and I really like that idea. I've never done anything like this before, I've never had like a garden party or anything like that. Um, so I really don't have the supplies for a party like this. I definitely did some research, as you can see here on Pinterest, of course, as you probably know now. I basically go to Pinterest for any type of inspiration because there is so much that you can find on there and a garden party is no exception. I put together a little mood board of what I kind of want the theme to be. So as I'm looking at this Pinterest board right now, it is definitely springy outside, lots of colors like green, pink, yellow, like baby blue, things like that, lots of flowers. Um, I really actually like the idea of the table being kind of mismatch and having just like a lot of things on the table, as you can see, like flowers, candles, a cake in some of these photos, um, and just like having a really fun time with your friends. I also thought it would be a fun idea to do like a paint and sip type of party, if you've heard of that before, where they have like, um, you know, painting and having wine, you can do this your classes or have your own party but I just thought this was kind of be a fun idea to add so I do have a couple of photos of like a paint and sip kind of kind of party this feels just very like intimate and fun and just kind of a chill chill atmosphere but really super pretty and just like a really fun way to celebrate with my friends my goal is to find everything either at thrift stores or estate sales. Um, haven't been to an estate sale in a minute and I feel like that's where all the gems are, especially with a theme like this. I want to get things that, again, I can use as always. That That is always the goal when we buy things, we buy things consciously. So I want to have in mind like items that I can use again, cups and plates that I can use for other parties or just to have in my kitchen as well. I feel like a lot of the decor are things that I already gravitate towards in general so I can incorporate you know like the candle holders or the vases like just into my home decor anyways. I'm thinking like really nice charcuterie boards and a cake that I will either make, make is very loosely, or go to <laughs> a grocery store and just kind of DIY with some some extra frosting and candles and things like that. I also want to see if I can maybe go to the dollar store or a thrift store and go to like their party section and see if I can get either some lanterns or something to hang because again this party is going to be outside and I have like a little deck area and so I thought it'd be fun to just kind of like hang some things and make it really pretty. This is probably gonna be at least a two part series because 
I do have kind of a lot of work ahead of me because I'm basically starting from scratch. I need everything, including plates, cups. I'm gonna just use the silverware that I have. Decor. I don't even know what I'm wearing yet, so maybe we will thrift something. Trips to the grocery store, trips to the Dollar Tree estate sales. It's kind of a lot, and I have about two and a half weeks to plan this. For me, it feels so fun to get back into planning a party after so long, and so I really want this to be like, I want this to be really fun. For the next two weeks, I am going to take you along and just go from store to store and hopefully find all the things that I am looking for. Now I could make this a lot easier on myself and order everything, but that's just not me. I, I love the chase of finding thrifted items, as obviously you know that, and just something like this, like I'm just looking at these pin, this Pinterest board and it's just unique items. It's not something that I would just want to order and have shipped to me. I think half the fun is going to be finding all these items. I have quite a bit of ground to cover, so we're just gonna jump right into it. which is, you know, understandable. I was number seven on the wait list. And so I just had to wait in my car for a little bit, which was not too, too bad or anything. Um, but I did find some items that were along the same lines of what was on my Pinterest board, which I'm really excited about. So as you saw on basically all the pictures, there's a lot of different sizes, different styles of like vases and candle holders and things like that. First thing I got was this just small little vase and this was $1, very cute. Second thing is this little pretty, like, sort of like a scalloped edge taller vase and this was two dollars then i got this beautiful candle holder you can see all the details just like so pretty and then this was six dollars i also wanted to stick with the theme of like super light springy colors so i got these really pretty napkins can kind of see the detail on them that I'm gonna put on the table and just kind of has that like really pretty it's jacquard print and these were each a dollar and then last but not least I really wanted to find this item I was really hoping that somewhere along this journey I would find this and I actually I'm very excited about this one this beautiful tablecloth it's like 
huge. <laughs> it is so big, so I might double up on it, but it's just so pretty and it just gives me all of the tea, garden party, spring vibes. Sabers and got a couple things. This is my mom. She came to help me pick out all kinds of stuff today. And I wanted to show you guys just like a little haul that I got and everything. So start out with the glassware. So I got this little kind of funky looking one with all these like little red dots on them. This was $2.49. I just like the shape of it. And then I got this little guy, which is a little bit taller. So, kind of like different heights and stuff. This one was also $2.49. Then I got these two small little candle holders, each $6.99. I think these are so pretty. I'm just gonna kind of, again, put them throughout the table. Oops, I got these. Awesome little swirl candles that already fit in here, I already checked. Um, but I just really like the detail of them and these look like very old, like very old. So it's kind of cool, never been used, $1.99. And then last but not least, which I'm, I literally gasped when I went, when I saw this. Uh, it is so cute. It's a little dish for cakes or pies and obviously I'm gonna be putting a cake you know together for my birthday so and this I feel like goes perfectly with um, the different linens that I got so I feel like the color is very similar and so you can kind of see like some of the see some of the detail and this was $7.99 <laughs> Alrighty, another day, another thrift store. Today we are at Salvation Army, and the main things that I'm looking for are glassware and kind of like different funky plates, whether that be like floral print or different appliques on it. Um, and I want each plate to be different and mismatch. I'm also still looking for candles that would work in the little candle holders that I got. Once I get that stuff out of the way, I think I'll be good for the actual like play settings and the table that we're going to be sitting and eating at. I've gone to this thrift store for basically my entire life. It is right near my house and so I always just kind of pop in and see what is new. I remember this one having really good items for like home decor. So we're gonna go in and hope we find some cool stuff. <music>
Alrighty, that was a like in and out trip. I was focused on just a few items and if I didn't see anything, then I was gonna leave. But I actually did find a few things um, that I wanna show you guys. So I did end up getting these little glasses. Truthfully, I don't know if they're like for alcohol or if it's like a special glass or something, but I saw a photo and that I wanted to recreate, which I thought was so cute for like just little drinks to have. So I did get these. I was actually thinking once I put these away, so little side note, let me know in the comments if you know what type of glass this is. Is this for like a certain type of alcohol or like a little beverage? I don't know anything about them, but they just looked so cute. And I think they were kind of just like fun and funky, you know? So let me know in the comments if this little glass has a specific purpose. I got a set of six of each of these and a set of six for the glasses, which I feel like will be really cute. The back just says Lucille on it. They're glass. Um, and I just like the little flower detail on them. I think that's gonna be so cute. Um, and these were all $3.99. So rounding up with donating, you know, the, the extra cents to round up to a dollar figure, it ended up being $42. I think I'm gonna end the video here today. I just, I actually got quite a bit done this week that I wanted to and pretty much all of my dinnerware and like things that I want on the actual table are pretty much complete. I just need to find a few more tall candles and then buy some flowers obviously the day of to put in the vases but I think that table is pretty much done and the next step is just gonna be moving on to getting some decor for the outside and getting a cake. And I also am debating on what type of outfit that I wanna wear as well. I don't know if I'm gonna get it from this one online store or thrift it, we'll see. But everything is coming along really well so far and I'm really happy with the way that I think it's going to turn out. Let me know if you've done any type of party like this or like any any type of garden party, tea party, things like that because this is definitely my first time and I'm not sure exactly. I think it's going to be good. I'm I'm envisioning it in my head and I think it's gonna be pretty good. There will definitely be a part two coming as well as like what the actual birthday party looks like the day of. So I'll take you guys along for all of that. Let me know in the comments if I'm missing anything that you think would be so cute for a party like this. Again, I'm just going off of inspiration from Pinterest. So whatever they kind of have is kind of what I'm envisioning. As always, if you are not already, definitely subscribe down below, like and comment, and put my notifications on if you like. I post videos every single Friday, as well as definitely check out all my other social media here as I post more thrifting and styling content over there. And I will see you on the next video.